Hi, this is Dr. B. In our last video, we looked at finding the valence electrons for individual atoms. In this video, we're going to look at finding the valence electrons for a molecule, so the total valence electrons for that molecule. We'll start with something simple like CH4. On the periodic table, carbon is in group 4, so 4 valence electrons, and then hydrogen is in group 1, so we have one valence electron, but since we have a subscript of 4, we need to multiply that by 4. So 4 plus 1 times 4, 4 plus 4, gives you 8 valence electrons. So that's how many valence electrons we have for CH4. Let's try OF2. So we'll look up oxygen right here in group 6. 6 valence electrons plus fluorine right next door. 7 valence electrons times 2. And make sure you do your multiplication before you add things. So 7 times 2 is 14. 6 plus 14 is 20. So for OF2, we have 20 valence electrons. Sometimes you'll see something like the sulfate, SO4, 2 minus. It's an ion. So pretty much the same. You look up sulfur, group 6, plus oxygen, which is also in group 6, so it has 6 valence electrons, times 4. But we need to deal with this negative 2 up here. This negative 2 means that you have two extra negative charges. Electrons are negative, so that really means you have two extra valence electrons. So I just need to add those two valence electrons here to my total. I can add this all up. So 6 times 4 is 24. 6 plus 24, 30 plus 2, 32 total valence electrons for SO4, 2 minus. You can also end up with a plus charge, so something like NH4 plus. So nitrogen, group 5, 5 valence electrons. Hydrogen is in group 1. We have 4 hydrogens. And the plus means that we've lost a negative charge. We've lost an electron. So we'll just subtract 1 from there. So we have 5 plus 4 is 9, but minus 1, 8. So for the NH4 plus ion, we have eight valence electrons. And that's pretty much it. So now you can find the total number of valence electrons for a molecule, which is the first step to being able to draw Lewis structures. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.